Hello to all of the Virgos. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Cosmo Astrology. We are happy to have you here as we grow and expand, guys. Welcome to your Zodiac reading for this little snapshot in time. I'm not going to make it timed, but if you stick around to the end, I will be doing like a quick Zodiac preview with the placements that are going on. Just a quick note, this is going to be for Western Sun Virgos, okay, and Sidereal Vedic Virgo moons and Virgo risings. If you are a Virgo moon, Virgo rising, then please stick through to the end to hear the astrology. If you're here watching for Western, then the astrology might not apply to you. Um, but I'm hoping that this video will be able to reach a different audiences and everybody will be able to get the information that they need. So if you're new and you don't know what I'm talking about, turns out there are different kinds of astrologies. Western astrology is the one, Western tropical site astrology is the one that is most popular so that's how most people identify um with their sun sign so i'm 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 sure a lot of you are here for that, but there is another astrology, Vedic astrology, sidereal, that I really love and adore, and so that is the placements that I kind of go off of, but as I'm doing this, I can see that it can refer to both. So if you are new to the channel, if you subscribe to this channel and you find out your other placements, then you will actually get a total of three monthly readings from me, okay? So that is something to be aware of. But without me running my mouth, running my yap, let's go ahead and get into it, guys. And again, just a friendly reminder, please stick around to the end if you are interested to hear how the astrological breakdown will affect you throughout this time period, okay? So uh, let's get started for my Virgo people. Um, so just off the rip, doesn't matter what astrology you're tuned into, it is going to be a very interesting period of time because we are going into like two retrograde. Venus is in retrograde right now and Mercury is in retrograde. So I imagine that there is going to be a lot of tugging and pulling in the upcoming uh, weeks that we're dealing with. <laughs> and we're starting off with the two of the two of pentacles here. So there does seem to be some back and forth. There does seem to be some ups and downs, possibly weighing pros and cons Virgos. Um, so that's a very interesting card to start off on. But let's build the rest of the story and see what we got. Ah, we love this. The six of wands. So a uh, victory after a long battle and the nine of wands. So yes, definitely a battle. Okay. What is going on for our Virgos, please? Spirit. All right, so there's a lot of wand energy, a lot of fire energy that's presenting itself. Um, here we have the seven of wands. So I'm hearing that you're certainly fired up and you're feeling very dis defensive right now, Virgo. So of course we will dig into it and we'll look into it. Ah, the nine of cups. That's nice for the middle of your reading, the magician. Yeah, okay, Virgo, I'm really getting this really strong energy that you know what you want and you're not going to take no for an answer like you you see the you see the vision and you're going to be putting your energy towards that the queen of swords i always associate the queen of swords with virgo energy um because you know the queen of swords is very analytical very quick short to the point um and so it just she serves me virgo vibes so i'm not surprised to see her here um in your reading and i feel like this is something where i'm also hearing that your ideas definitely need to be protected so we have the nine of pentacles Wow, and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so to my Virgos, however, whatever Virgo you identify with, I'm certainly getting a, is this nine too? So you got all of the nines, okay? So a little challenging. Nine is a kind of a challenging number because it's very solo. It kind of feels like me against the world. Like you're establishing yourself, you're establishing your, your boundaries because you know that you're about to take off and do something new. For some of you guys, I really feel like this has to deal with work or some sort of creative passion project, but it's something that your heart desires. So this is like a dream job, a dream opportunity. Um, but I imagine that you're going through something a little bit solo right now, Virgo, is, is really what I'm picking up on, especially with the, all the nines that are symbolized here. This this is a bit of a challenging aspect, but I do feel like as long as you know what you want and what you're headed towards, you are going to be successful in, in, in accomplishing that. So that's very interesting. Such a strong start um, to this reading, but I definitely feel like you're fired up, you're sticking to your guns, and you are letting you know, your practical side really make decisions and guide you. I feel like you're taking things extremely seriously in this period of time, um, and you're looking 
to what is your most beneficial outcome. I do want to congratulate you, Virgos, because I like that there's an air here with the Knight of Pentacles. You are patient. You really don't care how long it takes for you to be successful. You are determined to get it. You are determined to manifest and you don't care if people understand or don't understand. You don't care if people are on board or not on board. This is about you. And I feel like that's a very strong and empowering placement for you to be in, my Virgos, because you guys are so service oriented. You like to please others. But I imagine that this is not about others. This is about you. You are really taking control and taking the reins as uncomfortable comfortable as it has been, right? So I do imagine, okay, so now we're looking at this, um, the two of pentacles to the seven of wands, um, to the queen of swords. There's, you've definitely been battling. I, I want to say weighing the pros and the cons, like I said earlier, but it's a little deeper than that. It's, it's almost as if you have taking these ideas or you're trying to figure out what is the best, most efficient, most practical way for me to handle this. And I think you come up with a bomb idea and spirit is saying, protect it, protect that idea with all costs, protect your thoughts. I honestly feel Virgo, um, you might be like a type of person who likes to consult other people for your decisions to be like, Hey, um, mom, <laughs> I was thinking about doing this. And then you hang up with your mom and then you call your sister. And you're like, hey, sister, I'm thinking about doing this. What do you think? Hey, best friend, I was thinking about doing this. What do you think? Then you do a whole bunch of research before you make a, before you make a decisions. Queen of Swords energy. We love it. I'm, this is not an insult. But in this point in time, Virgo, I'm really getting that this is about you and what you want. You make this decision. I think that if you get too many opinions, so many people have different things to say. So let's say that you've really been debating, like, should I quit my job or should I stay here? Um, should Yeah, should I quit my job or should I just stay here and stick it out? I feel like half of the people will be like, quit that job, leave them, screw them, whatever, kiss my, bo my booty. And then another person, group of people will be like, hey, it would be more effective. You should stay for the next six months. Did you think about this? Like, are you nervous about your health care? Did you think about all these practical reasons, right? So I feel like you're getting all these different opinions. You're getting all these different viewpoints. And so I think the challenge, right, for you is to actually really have faith in your own personal decision and what you believe is going to be correct and what you believe is right. You know, so I, I and, and I just want to highlight that whatever it is that you decide, love this, the six of wands the nine of cups to the nine of pinnacles you are solid all right you are going to be victorious do not let fear of scarcity influence your decision to get what it is that you want i think that you are actually extremely realistic that what you want is going to require time and going to require effort and you are okay doing that which is an exceptional um place to be in, particularly because I love my Virgos, but Virgos tend to be very impatient being mercurial ruled. You know, it's always about the move. I want to go. I want to know what's next. I want to know what's next. What's this? What's this? What's this? You know, they're just as bad as Gemini's. <laughs> So I just imagine that now you're kind of settling into the more earthly vibes that you have opposed to the air vibes that Gemini's have. And you are really seeing that you can accomplish anything if you take everything step by step. So I see you actually making a plan to reach your desires and to reach your dreams, which is absolutely stunning, Virgos. Um, I think that this is much needed, very valued and super important. So now I'm kind of going to look at the outside first, um, the outside. So we got the two of Pentacles, the nine of wands, the queen of swords and the knight of pinnacles so this is just again reiterating on the outside it really looks like you are standing strong i just heard like strong man strong woman like you were just standing strong and people see that you are making a decision you're moving towards something i really just want you to note that you should not spend so much time in this two of pinnacles all right so we are going through a lot of uh retrogrades right now so march will be like the end of kind of retrograde venus will be out of retrograde mercury will be out of retrograde so take these two months um when i'm posting this if you're watching this so take this next two months all right to really just solidify what this looks like to you like what does this nine of pentacles abundance uh what does that look like to you and solidify those plans but then as soon as march rolls around i really am going to need you to kick it into high gear for the Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> so then start making actions. So it's okay right now to be in the state of, I don't know, hmm, what do you think? What what do you not think? But at the end of the day, you really need to set a time limit for yourself in order to actually commit and make 
a, the ultimate decision, right? Because at the bottom of the deck, we do have the nine of swords here. So this is a very, like I said, it's difficult with all the nines. There's nothing, nine is a very challenging number. Um, and so you could be dealing with a lot of insecurities right now or just uncertainties, really, because I think that you're having an issue seeing the clearest path. And that's really what you want. This is one of those tests where you're really going to have to walk by faith and not by sight. But I think that towards the end of this time period that we're talking about, you are going to definitely feel more grounded and more secure in your thoughts. But it happens when you stop seeking extra counsel and you stop weighing the pros and the cons cons and you kind of stop fighting yourself and you focus on just manifesting what you want. I feel like I'm being called to tell you, Virgos, that you need to claim it. You need to claim it. If you want that Prada bag, claim the Prada bag. <laughs> you know, don't settle for Michael Kors if you want the tippity top, you know. Um, I, and I feel like that's going to help you really decide what it is that you want for yourself in life because I feel like there's a part of you that isn't taking those desires that you have, uh, those very Venetian desires that you have seriously. And so you're kind of selling yourself short. And so I feel like this is a message and kind of an omen for you to definitely open up Virgos and see all the possibilities that you could have moving towards you instead of limiting yourself in a way uh, because you feel like it's the safer answer to be like, oh, you know, I'm okay with, you know, this purse that I got from Walmart and this is no shade from Walmart I got my best shits from Walmart and Target so this is no shade just using this as an example but you're like okay it's okay I know that I can get the knockoff at Walmart if you don't want the knockoff then don't ask spirit for the knockoff because you'll get the knockoff then you'll be mad that you have the knockoff just ask for the real thing <laughs> this is really what I'm getting so you could be fighting with that 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 innate like um that innate ornate side of you particularly if you are a western sun virgo and you're watching this then that most likely would put you in the leo category so you want to so you'll probably find yourself just being drawn and attracted to really luxurious things don't fight yourself with that own it you are a queen you are a princess whatever it is you know we got the queen of swords here so it is totally okay for you to have those types of desires um but i imagine that it's time for you to really be practical in, in what it is that you want and developing and shaping yourself um if you continue fighting yourself and selling yourself short then you're going going to really feel the nine of swords you're really going to feel this stress that could be overcoming to you so i would definitely get like a, a if you don't already have a vision board i would really start working on the vision board so you can picture it and i would tiptoe towards luxury magazines and i would tip towards tiptoe towards you know um really good like business insider info about how to manage money and how to save money so you can afford the lifestyle that you want uh, but i do think that you need to be open and honest about the lifestyle that you want so really kind of you know mature reading virgo <laughs> i'm gonna see if i can get anything else i'm not really seeing anything strong for love i can definitely see like if, if this doesn't make sense and you're still watching it then i do definitely feel like this could deal with work or school like you're just taking work or school very seriously i um you're just moving in that in that way so this could absolutely be a really good semester for you um if you are starting school i know my college kids are going back um but it does feel like you're just going to be practicing you're going to be focused on really doing well and succeeding um nothing is, is going to be able to distract you virgo <laughs> so really interesting reading yeah major transformations with the death card here major endings and beginnings but i feel like they're welcomed you know i feel like it's it's certainly welcome change and the four of swords so and then here we have the eight of cups so yeah spirit is really wanting you to get out of your head <laughs> so i hope that i'm not confusing you because i know that i was just like you're fired up about something you are definitely seeking counsel but it is time for you to shit and get off the pot as soon as this retrograde ends the longer that you stay in the i don't know in the uncertainty phase the more excruciating that this period is going to is going to be for you um so even though you might not be able to act you really need to start making a decision i hope that i'm not confusing you and i hope that that made sense virgos uh let me know in the comment section but now we're going to move over into your lenormand so we can see your mind body and soul your what no <laughs> your mind what's on your mind what's on your heart and then what your actions are going to be moving forward okay <laughs> mind body and soul um but yeah I'm, I'm certainly getting that that energy here so we're starting off here with the mountain and the tree 
for your mind. Yeah, you're just really thinking about long-term stability for sure. Um, ooh, I love that combination for you. Um, you're just thinking about long-term stability for sure. Some of you guys could be focused on like long-term health. So you're wanting to pick up new opportunities. You're wanting to pick up new health habits, new eating habits, um, anything like that. And look, we have the anchor at the bottom. So I really do feel like this is going to be kind of a difficult little time period for you because there's things that you want to do. There's things that you want to move towards, but there's obstacles in the way. You're nervous because you want long-term stability, but at the same time, you're not quite sure if that's what you want because you feel unsatisfied. You're asking asking your friends for help. They're kind of helping you, but you ask one person, they say one thing. You ask the next person, they're saying the other. So you feel really super duper, uber confused, but you know that where you are, you don't want to be. So <laughs> huh. <laughs> take a breath, take it easy. A lot of this is happening because of the retrogrades. Um, you are not stuck in this phase. This is very temporary, but the more that you isolate and the less that you invite people in and the more that you focus on what you want, the easier that this period will be to navigate because you won't be dealing with so much contradictory information because that is the real heart and meat of this time period. Okay. Um, so let's look. Yeah. So your mind definitely focused on long-term stability, definitely focused on what is next. Um, there could definitely be obstacles that, that, that come in, um, dealing with health. But again, I don't feel like this is anything that can't be overcome. If you are dealing with health obstacles, it is directly related to stress because you are thinking too much. So please be mindful that if you do get shut down within this time period and you do find yourself sick, it's because you're thinking too much. You need to calm down, you need to slow down. So be mindful of that. Okay. Um, for your heart, we have the ring and the bear. So you're definitely making a commitment. I'm using definitely a lot. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just realized that. But you are making a commitment to being the bigger you. You know, I do imagine that some of you guys could be meeting somebody very powerful, somebody who has a lot of sway, and you might want to be thinking about like, hmm, should I tag onto their boat? Should I sign on to this? Think about it. Take it seriously. Again, ask very few people that you trust. Stop at like three people. But I definitely feel like you are committing to yourself in a new way. Um, your actions. It doesn't look like you're going to be very action oriented with this cross being here because your emotions are going to be weighing very heavily on you. This is something that can be avoided, right? I think if you take everything a day at a time, which I said, I think that you've learned this lesson, Virgo. So it's one of those things where this is a true test of everything that you've learned over the past few years, you know, uh, because I do think that you understand that everything's timed. And I do think that you have learned the value of patience. That being said, your emotions and your frustrations can sometimes be overpowering and can be too much of a burden on you and so that is why your health could be affected if you end up stressing yourself out so the action is really to calm down the action that you are meant to take is to avoid <laughs> letting the emotions take over and be crippling where they should be helping supporting you and inspiring you so you have quite the dance Virgo, quite, quite, quite the dance to do for this next period of um, time when this video finds you. Um, I, I, like I said, I really do not think that this is a very easy time. This doesn't look like it's a whole bunch of fun, <laughs> to be completely honest. But I'm, the more that you kind of isolate, even down to nine, which is the hermit card, right? The more that you go into that hermit mode and the more that you just focus in on yourself and give that energy to yourself and replenish and and yeah, like I, like I said, isolate, that is where you're going to be able to find your strength. But I would definitely plan on building some sort of health routine um, and making sure that your body is in alignment because that'll help alleviate a lot of the stress that you could be welcoming in to your space if you are really worried about things that you cannot control because of all these retrogrades. Mind you, Mercury is your ruling planet. So when it goes backwards, it feels like everything is going backwards. So that's why this is such a wishy-washy up and down reading. I hope that it wasn't too over the all over the place because <laughs> I felt like I was like going in so many different directions. Um, but I do think that you will absolutely be able to overcome this and we'll talk in March. I'm going to post in February, but I really feel like March is going to be definitely a breath of uh, fresh air. I don't know why I'm on this definitely word. I am so sorry. <laughs> Virgos. Oh my gosh. I don't know why that is my word for right now, but um, yeah. So we got new moon and cancer. You and your loved ones are safe. So I think that you need this permission. Um, 
I think that you actually need the permission to know that you are safe, to know that you are in a good space because I think that the pressure that you feel, like we said, the servitude that you feel to other people could be the reason why you feel clammed up or kind of trapped in the situation that you're in right now. So again, this is spirit just highlighting that this could be a great opportunity for you, Virgo, to really open up yourself and to open up your experience and be and feel safe that you're not abandoning anybody or making a wrong decision for those that you care about again this is about you that nine this is about you ace of the magician here aries energy it's about you okay so don't be embarrassed by that don't be ashamed about it it's about what you want not what others want they'll be fine everybody's gonna be fine <laughs> and we have fork in the road 13 Echoing the death card. So definitely a major change. Um, options that are presenting themselves. And it's time for you to make a decision for yourself. You're analyzing it in this moment in time. You're not making that decision, like I said, until March. But you're definitely analyzing which way, which direction would be best and most beneficial to you. Um, and then we got asked for help from others. And I really want to put it in the reverse because you're not meant to. <laughs> um, you can challenge me if you want to, if you're like, oh, you cheap shot. But I really do think that if you do have to ask for help from others, it should absolutely be in the smallest way po po possible. Maybe bounce some ideas off, but once you start getting really contradictory information, shut it down, keep it pushing. Do not um, let people confuse you because I think you know what you want. You just have to, have to accept what it is that you want um, and start asking for it. Aim high, reach high. You might not get it tomorrow with the Knight of Pentacles, but you can certainly start taking steps to get to where you're supposed to be. So that's really, really interesting. Love Lovely Virgos, okay? So thank you so much for joining me. If you're a Western Virgo, um, you might want to click off because we're going to be moving into the astrological portion of the reading. But thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification button if you want to see your other placements, um, like I was talking about at the beginning of the reading. But overall, like I said, Virgo, this is going to be quite a challenging period of time, but nothing that you can't overcome, okay? Just be patient with yourself, be patient with the process, and you'll be happy with your decision, all right? So let's move into the astrology. Again, just a friendly reminder, this is sidereal Vedic, so it'll probably be one place off that you've been seeing from other astrologers. Everybody has their preferences. I find um, a this Vedic astrology to be is slightly more accurate, um, but Western astrology is accurate also, so not here to diss. But let's look into what's going on for you. So Virgo, the sun is going to be in Capricorn, which will be in your fifth house. Um, you are definitely laying down the law and getting busy. There could be a strong focus on kids or creative projects. Um, and you're trying to get, yeah, you're trying to get creative projects off the ground. You may stand out. So there might be some, I really feel like it won't be unwelcomed attention, but you might be getting more in attention that you're not used to and that you're not necessarily paying attention to. <laughs> so this could be a time highlight for dating if you are in that phase. People definitely see you. You might not see them because you're stressed, but <laughs> people certainly see you guys. Mars is going to be in Sagittarius um, starting January 16th, and that is going to be in your fourth house. So please be mindful. Um, there could be a lot of kind of um, aggression at home. There could be like this love-hate relationship with your mother. <laughs> To be quite honest, because Mars is going, because Venus is going to be in retrograde joining the fourth house. Be mindful of any vehicles that you have. Drive safely. Um, people could be like experiencing road rage and anger towards you. So just be careful, my Virgos. Uh, what did I say? Yeah. Be careful what you eat. Be careful what you eat because there could lead to stomach upsets. And what did I write down? Yes, you could have a, an overall really restless feeling, which is definitely what we got here. Just an overall restlessness. Mercury is going to be in Capricorn joining Mars in the fifth house. Um, Mercury is in retrograde. So again, you're excited about ideas. You have focused on ideas, but yet you can't get them off the ground. Not yet. Not until March. So just be mindful. You know, astrology is backing up exactly what we said in the reading. You know, with all these retrogrades and stuff, you're not going to be able to act, but you find have the idea and you are able to make a plan and a strategy to move forward um jupiter is going to be aquarius in your sixth house again good time for health routines good time for um especially if you're trying to gain weight i don't know if you're trying to gain weight but this would be a good time to put on weight if that's something that
something that you're interested in, but I'll also look into kind of unconventional ways like yoga, um, any spiritual ways of being able to heal yourself. You might also be due for like a Reiki healing. Any of that spiritual cleansing would be great right now for you, Virgos. Um, my Virgo rising, Virgo moons. Venus is going to be in retrograde in Sagittarius in the fourth house, like I mentioned, joining Mars. Um, so you're going to really be reflecting on your relationships. You could also feel this need to redecorate or, you know, just want to get out of the house. Like you might not want to be in the house. You might want to be like, okay, I need to move or I need something to change. I, I need something new. I need something different. Like it, it kind of gives me, especially with the stress that you're experiencing here, it kind of gives me that vibes of like where the walls kind of feel like they're caving in a little bit. <laughs> So just be mindful that like when you have opportunities to get out of the house, please get out of the house, especially with Jupiter and Aquarius. Um, small social gatherings are going to be very important for you. Even if you don't want to go, you just need to get out of the house and like get out of your head. Get a brush of fresh air, fresh air will be some of the best answers for what's going on for you this month. Um, and then we have Saturn and Capricorn in the fifth house. Again, just delaying anything that has to deal with dating creativity or kids but saturn will move guys um saturn will move it's it's like 100 days away i want to say it moves in april but i could be lying so don't hold me to it um but you are in like this weird you you are in like this weird space where you have a lot of ideas but you can't quite execute them yet so just know that that tugged that tugging feeling that you're feeling is real it's not you it's better to breathe with it align with it learn that it's just a part of the process instead of being frustrated by it virgo that is going to be the key for your success moving forward no if ands or buts about it um so if you stuck through the rest of this reading that is really the moral of the story is like yes you're in a very frustrating period right now but however it is for your benefit everything's going to work out in due time you're not stuck like this forever you're just in a weird period of transition and that is okay all right so that is what i got for you my virgos 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 thank you so much please let me know what you thought of this reading i tried to hit on a different a lot of different angles but because we're in a retrograde i feel like <laughs> the message might have been all over the place so I, my apologies um but we're in an all over the place time so makes sense guys so please drop a little virgo emoji for me please in the comment section don't forget to like share and subscribe follow me on twitter and instagram if you don't already um i really have fun over there especially on twitter guys i really be so <laughs> if that's something that interests you then please consider following me on there and yeah guys peace until next time